हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1100 एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज द हेल्थ बेनिफिट्स ऑफ वाचिंग सन राइज और वी कैन से हेल्थ सीक्रेट देर इज अ सीक्रेट बिहाइंड इट वेन यू आर एक्सपोजिंग योर सेल्फ आउटसाइड सन राइस मीन्स अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग अराउंड सिक्स सेवन इट कैन गो अप टू एट एंड ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम दन राइज इज एट अ डिफरेंट एंगल एंड इट गिव्स द ब्लैंड ऑफ अ डिफरेंट कलर दैट इज कॉल येलो ब्लू ब्लैंड रेड ग्रीन ब्लैंड बट मोर इज the that is called yellow blue peak and that is mainly containing the percentage of concentration of infrared is more and once the morning uh is getting over by 11 and 12 around midday then the percentage of when the concentration of sunlight is more then the percentage of ultraviolet light is more and infrared is less here we should know that we are the part of solar system our earth and there are it is a planet there are different type of planet mercury jupiter mars and earth is one of them and the sun is the father of all these planets that's why we call it the solar system all planets are around sun and whatever activities on our uh, earth especially the human living i mean plant and animal their photosynthesis their uh, health they are all very much influenced by the sun rays and it has i have already discussed different color spectrum of sunlight and its impact today i am going to discuss the matching of the internal and external clock that is how to synchronize to match them that is i mean internal watch clock one we call it internal clock and other one is called external clock and these internal and external clocks if they are not synchronized they are not matched then definitely we will be having some health problem some production of different hormones like cortisol melatonin endomorphin and these hormones they play very important role in our sleep pattern in our behavior stress depression <coughs> anxiety so now we have to understand what are external and internal clocks and how they can be matched how they can be synchronized so the internal clock is our biological clock that i call it it is your biological clock means in your body all your cells they work as a clock that is biological clock and that's why people say that you should know that your death is nothing but it is your biological clock when it is stops so you when your all cells they stops and there is no arousal there is no feeling mental death all physical death everything is there that is called biological clock and we have 30 trillion cells in our body that is 30 30 trillion means 30 after 30 12 zero 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 that is up to 12 that is the meaning of trillion after 30 when we are putting 12 zeros this much number of clocks are there in our body they are called internal clock of our body and the external clock is 
not our wall clock or some clocks which are sold side by road no they are not they cannot match with our uh, biological clock the external clock is your sun sun is your sun shine and sun is the external clock so once sun rises there sun rising is there sun will come to peak and then sunset will be there so sunrise and sunset they have different angle and with that angle uh, the combination of spectra color is different so especially when sunrise is there there is uh, yellow blue uh, contrast of the color combination that we are getting and in that case the infrared uh, percentage is more that is once sunrise is there and you might have noticed that <coughs> it gives some yellowish tinge early in the morning and when there is sunset again there is some yellowish tinge in the evening so that is actually the combination of contrast of that is yellow blue contrast we call it yellow blue contrast the other contrast is that is green and red contrast of the spectrum of sun color light and blue yellow contrast makes the sunlight we can we can say white color that is the color and this color is very important this brown of frequency or wavelength of the light that is yellow uh, blue spectrum of color or contrast color because when early in the morning when we are getting up our getting up itself there is role of cortisol and we are calling cortisol as a stress hormone general impression is given but it has some positive impact also that is cortisol means it is steroidal nucleus cyclopentenofrenthrin i have written here cortisol it is cyclopentenofrenthrin <coughs> nucleus so this is actually steroidal hormone and this cortisol uh, is playing some positive role also it takes care of your blood pressure it maintains your body temperature it provides immunity also immune system it activates immune system so it has lot of positive impact also it is responsible of your sleep pattern also and the peak of production of cortisol is early in the morning that is called uh, yellow blue contrast peak during that time early in the morning when you are exposing to sunlight these three hormones are produced in good quantity cortisol melatonin and endorphin and these three are having very important role in our uh, body function physiology biochemistry of all the strength and activity so once you are getting early in the morning and exposing in front of sunlight that is sunrise position that is having yellow blue combination yellow blue peak and that peak is responsible of producing more these hormones and with that peak production it will be okay but if in case you are getting late and delayed peak of yellow uh, blue light and the production of cortisol and these hormones sometimes they are not that much effective and cortisol is a little bit harmful because at that time when it is produced so it is delayed and then in night it will disturb sometimes you will not get good sleep you will be disturbed you will be having stress you will be having some tension some anxiety some depression is because of the a delayed production of cortisol so that's why it is better if there is chance in the evening when the sun is going to set maybe around 6 before maghrib just sit for 10 15 minute in front of sun uh, set 
so that at least the balance of uh, uh, that yellow blue peak is there and and that is that is how yellow blue light is responsible of uh, making our internal 30 trillion clocks to synchronize <coughs> with sunlight and they are I mean matching they are matched when they are matched then your stress anxiety and depression will be drastically reduced that's why once you are doing exercise you are in the morning walking you feel relaxed you feel little bit in good state of mind relaxed mind because of the production of these three hormones and the other part of our brain and they are all related to our neuron cells and nerve cells and that no those nerve cells they are called nervous system and other part of our nerve cell that is i call the camera of our brain hardware that is eye eye is another important nervous system and this eye is having three types of nerve cells and the two types very common they are known as rods and cones rods and cones they are the part of retina where there is image formation and your eye is just like uh, today's in today's language of artificial language is a uh, data storage of image photos and information after seeing all this around you surrounding all the data is going on the image data by these two nerve cells rods and cones and there is very special type of <coughs> very very special type of another uh, nerve cell is there and that is called photoreceptor ganglion cells these photoreceptor ganglion cells they are actually receiving they work as a sensor to receive from the sunlight early in the morning and evening uh, that yellow blue peak combination mostly more uh, longer wavelength light and this uh, light also plays role in the production of these three hormones and I have already given the structure of cortisol that is called stress hormone but here stress hormone is not that only it is producing stress it is uh, having some positive effect also I have already told you and the second one is called that is called melatonin nowadays lot of melatonin capsule tablets are available and they call it sleep hormone but here let me make it clear if you are having some 10 20 hours journey if you are going to america new york you have 14 13 hour journey where you have to spend sleepless night in aeroplane in that condition when you are arriving there you will be having jet lag sleeplessness so at that moment if you take one tablet of melatonin it will help to bring the sleep but it doesn't mean that by taking melatonin you will be having long duration of uh, time for deep sleep no it can only bring the sleep and it has no role for your deep sleep and in that case your this endomorphins endomorphins are also type of hormones they play important role for your longevity of the uh, relaxation of your stress and pain and also it will keep your mind relaxed so if you do these three combinations of hormones they are produced uh, that is uh, cortisol then your melatonin and endomorphin actually the word endo comes endo means endo means internal 
and morphemes. Morpheme comes is op opiate, means opium. It is just like opium type of effect, natural effect in your body. And this uh, endoform morphemes are produced in your brain, that is in pituitary gland and hypothalamus. It is very important endomorphism because it is responsible of, uh, if you, of uh, uh, making you relaxed if you have some pain. And that pain is uh, like that, I can say. Once you get some emotional, uh, we can say disorder because of somebody's talking or somebody's, I mean, behavior, such type of emotional pain is there, or some other body, uh, we can say psychological injury is there, emotional injury is there. Here, there will be release of more endomorphine to kill such type of uh, emotional or psychological injury and pain. So, uh, I have given the summary what I have discussed, but uh, let me mention one thing. There are a lot of publications nowadays, what we are getting from neuroscientists, neurochemists, and especially from America, Washington, Stanford universities. And I have gone through these research papers and what I have mentioned about the internal external clock and their synchronization is all from there and they have given in their research publications the importance of uh, sunrise, sunshine and its important role in the uh, production of these three hormones in our body that is uh, cortisol, melatonin and endomorphine. Uh, number one, uh, morning sunshine has lot of health benefits. Recently, there are a lot of research publications from Stanford University by Dr. Andrew D. and uh, Howard Mann, neurochemist from USA. And also, latest research publications by Jaya and Maureen, that is a Knight's Lab, Washington. If you go to Google, if you mention about the Knights Lab Washington by these people, you will get the uh, detail in USA. And number two, according to these research publications by neuroscientists, a particular angle in the morning, a sunshine or sunrise, a special yellow blue peak uh, will be produced, more cortisol, melatonin, and endomorphine hormones. So that is actually the peak of the production of these hormones and these hormones, they play important role and I have already told you that uh, the sun shine in early in the morning, these hormonal and at the same time, it is uh, called sunshine vitamin, that is vitamin D. Also it is contributing a lot of benefit, health benefit to get out of from depression, from bad mood, it will improve your uh, immune system, activate your immune system and because of the peak production of these three hormones, they are related to your mood, related to your uh, stress and related to your sleep disorder, these three hormones. Number three, we have internal clock that is our body cells, biological clock, and external clock, that is our sun, we belong to solar system, and they should synchronize, they should match. If they are not matched, we are weak, we are stressed, we are depressed. And that yellow uh, blue contrast is playing important role in matching up internal and external uh, clock or biological clock I have already told you that is 
30 trillion clocks. Each cell is internal clock, biological clock. It should be matching to our external clock. When you then will be uh, free of stress and our deep, depressed mood or dull mood or weakness or fatigue will not be uh, there. And external clocks are, and they should synchronize or these two clocks should be matching. If not so, then we will be under depression, anxiety and stress. By matching these two clocks, our body will be alert during daytime, we will be focused and it adds to our intelligence also. If we are focused, we are active, we are alert because of the production of these uh, hormones, because of the getting of peak of yellow blue contrast will add a lot to our intelligence. Number four, our eye is having three types of uh, nerve cells. One is called rod, other one is called cones. And the third one, which is very, very special type, and that is uh, also uh, working to, because these rod and cones, they are responsible of image and color. They are the part of retina, the back side of our eye. And the other one is, that is called IPRGGS. It's a very typical name. When you go to Google, you will get, if you like, the, what is the full form of IPRGGS in our eye, just nerve cell. The full form of this IPRGGS is melanopsin intrinsically photosensitive ganglion cells. It's a very typ typical name. Uh, and I call it photosensitive ganglion cells. They are also playing very important role and very special type of uh, wavelength of the uh, sunlight is absorbed and they play important role also in the production of these hormones. So with this I will stop and my request is that at least we can spend 10-15 minute time early in the morning when there is sunrise and when there is sunset early, I mean the, very much in the evening before Maghrib so that we can benefit from a yellow blue peak and that will help in the production of these three hormones. Thank you very much for watching the lecture.